I recently posted a screenshot of a WSJTX FT8 contact to a forum where I congratulated someone for being the unofficial 1000th contact that I made from a Parks on the Air entity. I was instantly chastised that I did none of the work because it was just computers talking. I will say it here at the beginning, I embrace the triple play of modes. I use a variety of modes such as CW, SSB, FT4, or 8, and anything else I feel like trying out. This video is also about to stir the pot, so to speak, because I'm about to give an unpopular opinion because most of us with this opinion don't feel the need to argue. So here we go. The basic argument has been the same over the evolutionary course of amateur radio or ham radio. This new mode is going to kill ham radio or kill, quote, insert mode here, end quote. This new mode isn't real ham radio. There is lots of griping over how someone earned something, whether it be some award or some level of licensing, and it all boils down to, if I had to do it this way, so should you. Should modes like FT8 be shunned because it isn't PSK31? PSK31 isn't real ham radio because it isn't as personal as SSB? SSB and its duck-like qualities is murdering AM? AM is cheating because CW is the way. Let's diverge from the mode argument onto a similar and parallel topic for just a minute to explain the resistance to change, aka all the whining. Let's go down a different rabbit hole by starting at ground level as we descend in Alice in Wonderland style. From 2006 to present, the Morse code testing requirement in the U.S. was eliminated. There is still grumbling that hams licensed after 2006 never earned it because they didn't take the test like the rest of us. At the next level, around the 2000s, the FCC reduced the previous code speed down to 5 words per minute, and they eliminated the Novice, Technician Plus, and Advanced Class licenses. All that is left is Technician, general, and extra, while those that held some of the eliminated licenses were allowed to renew them. I don't have to wonder about how they feel because many are outspoken that the reason they won't upgrade is because that license proves something of worth about how I earned my license. This is gatekeeping and narcissistic behavior. Ham radio is a personal venture. If you have to compare yourself to someone else's accomplishments, you're the same one that follows the whomever dies with the most toys wins mantra. When you die, no one is going to give a flying flip about what you accomplished and how you did it in ham radio. What they will remember is what you gave to the service and how you treated other people. The last history point I want to mention was in 1982, when Reagan created the Volunteer Examiner Coordinators. Now hams don't have to travel to a regional FCC office to take their exams. Talk about a kick to the face to those that had to travel sometimes hundreds of miles and then wait for months by their mailbox for their new ticket to be delivered. Heck, today you can walk into a local Laurel VE testing session and possibly have your license published in the FCC database the next day. That's a kick straight below the belt. Let's pretend we've already hit the bottom of that aforementioned rabbit hole. What is the amateur radio service as defined by the Code of Federal Regulations? In subpart A, General Provisions, 97.1, Basis and Purpose, the rules and regulations in this part are designed to provide an amateur radio service having a fundamental purpose as expressed in the following principles. A. Recognition and enhancement of the value of the amateur service to the public as a voluntary non-commercial communication service, particularly with respect to providing emergency communications. B continuation and extension of the amateur's proven ability 
to contribute to the advancement of the radio art. Part C. Encouragement and improvement of the amateur service through rules which provide for advancing skills in both the communication and technical phases of the art. D. Expansion of the existing reservoir within the amateur radio service of trained operators, technicians, and electronics experts. And the last part, E. Continuation and extension of the amateur's unique ability to enhance international goodwill. There isn't anything in there about awards or whose license is better, huh? And oh boy, that last part is too often overlooked. Much of the grumpy wumpies will tear down a new operator who's just learning the ropes, be it their first time on a VHF repeater or asking for the most basic advice on an internet forum, a sad soul is sure to appear with degrading comments instead of helping, which also defies Part D of expansion. You can't expand through negativity and discouragement, but I'll move on to the part I want to focus on, which is Part B, advancing skills in communication and technical phases of the art are where FT haters have it all wrong. We are advancing technology at amazing rates in all areas. My mom typed resumes and term papers for nursing school on an i386 PC and printed thousands of pages using a dot matrix printer that would sometimes run all night. Before that, it was grandma typing financial documents on a manual typewriter for a small family-owned company. Now I can do all that with an 8 ounce iPad while lying on the couch and print a thousand perfect copies for my laser printer in a matter of minutes. Things change. Mom and Grandma aren't griping about the advancement of business technology because that's not how we used to do it. Well, now they're both dead so they aren't complaining and can't brag about how it used to be anymore. I digress from my dark humor. WSJTX and the FT style modes aren't the modes of the past. Sure, there are abusers of the system. Let's ignore the cheaters that aren't even at the helm making contacts. Let us focus on you. If little Johnny uses FT8 to play radio, he is not reducing the value of your accomplishments. Little Johnny used a tool at his disposal. If you enjoy chasing rare DX on CW, Excellent! Don't berate Little Johnny. Little Johnny probably has hearing problems. Little Sally has Parkinson's disease and can't operate a key. Mr. and Mrs. John and Jane Doe are deaf and mute. Digital is all they can do, and if those were the only hams using digital modes, there would be little for them to do. So sure, you got your 300 plus DXCC award with your $15,000 station and beam at 200 feet and 100% CW. Congrats! Not everyone has expendable cash and lives in a place that allows such. The problem is that you're focused on your journey and comparing it to someone else's and then you bully them because it came too easy. Not all things are equal. Technology changes. You just won't accept that. And this won't change your mind about it either. But here I am saying it in hopes that the gatekeepers and complainers might be willing to dig deep enough within themselves and make a difficult change. It's time to get off your high horse. Embrace the changes and advancements of the amateur radio service. Be welcoming to the new operators and embrace the unique ability to enhance goodwill in general. Stop comparing yourself to others and be happy with what you have accomplished. When you say your final 73, you aren't taking it to the grave, but I can guarantee you'll die trying and have a puckered and snarled face when you do it if you continue to be the sad ham. The only important things in life are your friends, family, faith, if you so choose that mission, love, and how you'll be remembered as a person, especially if it is digitally memorialized on the internet for all to see. 
at your funeral, those are the only things that will remain. Your paper awards won't even be used as toilet paper. So have your fun in the way you choose, but be kind to those who are different. Be welcoming to Fresh Blood to the amateur radio service. Be willing to embrace the rapidly changing technology. You aren't being forced to use it, but it's there for those that do. You could still be proud about your rewards, but I can assure you that nobody else is focused on you. Life, as well as ham radio, is a personal experience. And if you focus on what someone else is doing, you're not in it for the fun.